hello guys welcome to jd tutorials in this video we will learn how to create a simple translator bot using microsoft bot framework this bot will be creating in our local environment using google apis let's get started Login to your Google console. Under projects, create a new project. I'll give the name as Translator Bot and create it. Once you have created your project, click on view. Make sure your new project is selected. If it is not selected, you can select it from here. Under drop down, you can select it directly from here. Fine. Now we will enable our translator api this is your dashboard under apis click on go to api overviews click on enable apis and services here we'll search for translation api yeah just pardon the spelling yeah this uh, api will be enabling it that is cloud translation api now enable it if you have provided a valid billing information in your google cloud platform then there won't be any problem enabling this api in order to access this API from our local environment, we'll have to create a service account. So click on create credentials. Now it will ask which API are you using. We'll be selecting cloud translation API. Since we will not be using app engine or compute engine, we will be using our local environment to communicate with this API. So I will select no. We create a service account. You give any account name JD service. You can select any role in order to communicate with your API. I'll select as owner. And JSON. This JSON will contain our credential information. It will only be downloaded once. So make sure you keep it safely on your local machine. I click on continue. And it has downloaded. Let's see what content this JSON have. Before that, here is the service account we just created. Now let us see the content. So this is the content the JSON has. Okay. Now we'll set up our local environment. First thing, you have to add a new environment variable. 
go to start type environment variable click on edit environment variable for your account and this new environment variable you have to add and point it to the newly downloaded JSON so this is the variable name you have to give that is Google application credential and you have to point it to the downloaded JSON since I have already added this environment variable I won't be adding now and for your information how to add it you click on new you type here Google application credential yeah and you browse the file so whichever file you have downloaded you can select it and after you give the path you click on ok then this variable will be added yeah and click on ok now we'll start by creating a new project open your visual studio create a new project we'll be creating a echo bot in which we'll translate the text provided by the user to any preferred language currently I'll be using German language I'll be translating English text to German language sorry English text to German text we create a echo bot why I am creating a echo bot because this will be the basic structure of our project this will be the simplest structure so for the enhanced enhanced functionality of your bot you can make use of core bot template as well just for the demo purpose I'll be using echo bot template I'll give the name translator click on create okay now first thing what you have to do you have to install the dependencies that is new get package you have to install you right click on dependency manage new get packages go to browse and type here translation and select Google Cloud Translation version 2 and install it we have successfully installed our NuGet package we close this one sorry yeah we go to our echobot file echobot.cs now this structure we have already seen in our previous videos while we were discussing about how to create a echo bot we'll be editing this structure in order to translate our text to our preferred language I'll be showing you the code which I have already written just two lines extra I have written that is in my another project yeah here we create a new client we get a response that is 
return context activity so whatever user has written it I am giving this as an input and this is my target language and this is my original language yeah you can change the target language based on your preference there are various target languages available so I'll show you what all languages are there yeah here is this one Afrikaans, Albanian, Amharic, um, Arabic, Armenian yeah so let me select German okay and the reply text will be the translated text that is response dot translated text so whatever response we get we will be getting the translated text and we send it to the user yeah only this three lines of code only these two lines of code we have added and this reply text so let me just compare it with the basic template and this one so this was our basic template instead of this uh, we have given the translated text and here we have added created our new client and uh, uh, got the response translated text yeah now we'll run our bot start without debugging you go to your bot emulator restart the conversation so this is the welcome text it has given me I'll write it as hi so hello okay now I'll write how are you let's see what how to say in German maybe I'll plan to learn German very soon so it has given me V gates uh, sorry about the pronunciation um, and and let's see I am fine it's been okay yeah cool it is working fine yeah thank you all